Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix your uh, Buffalo NAS with the message could not map share, create a folder name share before mapping the drive or you know you know that folder's there and you've it's it's worked in the past and you just can't access the any of your shared folders or perhaps you even bought um, a second hand na uh, Buffalo and you can't access it uh, via Windows. Um, we'll discuss how to fix it and plus we'll look at why it's not working whereas before it, it would have okay so let's close that message down and I'll quickly discuss why this is not working no more so I've pulled up the a website here and basically Microsoft have released um, have released an update which basically blocks SMB version 1 um, because it's now uh, vulnerable to attackers so there are other versions of SMB um, like version 2 and the Buffalo can use it but by default it doesn't and there is no on a lot of um, Buffaloes there's no advanced settings on some versions there are so it's worth looking on the uh, within the dashboard of your uh, Buffalo device in the in the settings and seeing if you can find advanced settings and see if you can enable SMB in this video we assume that you can't um, you can't do that and I'll show you the workarounds okay if you're not fussed about the vulnerability then the easiest way is to basically tell your windows to uh, reinstall SMB version 1 and I'll quickly show that do I do not advise this method but use it at your own risk if you want to so I'm going to type in uh, features and I'm going to turn window features on and off you can find this in programs and features within control panel but I've done it the quick way and as you can see this is what I've got installed on this computer you scroll down and then you look for SMB 1.0 click that and they should all check click OK and then it will ask to reset uh, reboot the computer It'll take about a couple of minutes and you'll be able to mount that drive and access the the share um, obviously that's not the best way because you're um, making your computer vulnerable to attack but if you're not on the like um, if it's not on the internet or whatever or you think you can protect the computer uh, the, the NAS uh, and desktop computer another way then by all means use that let's move on to actually making it version 2 so what I want to do is we need to enable um, SSH which is uh, Linux and Unix so I've downloaded a thing called ACP Commander 1.56 I will put it in the description go run it and it's found my NAS and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the password so you will need to know the password for this mine's default which is password and what I want to do is enable SSH and I want to set the password so let's make this lemmings free new password set that's fantastic now I use a program called win SSP uh, win SCP sorry so download that it is the easiest way because um, otherwise you're gonna have to use a putty like a terminal and it's a bit of a bull wake so uh, why is that not loading okay that's now loaded it's actually on another screen but for some reason I can't move it across so I'm just gonna connect to it quickly okay so when you load up win SPC you'll get this and what we need to do is type in the IP address of the Buffalo so I'm going to do uh, 192.168.1.205 it will differ on your network depending 
um, how your router or computer or whatever handles the DCHP. So mine's 192.168.1.205. Go put in the username as root. And it's now asking my password uh, for the password. So I'm going to put lemmings free and I'm going to remember the password for the session. Okay, so I'm now logged in. So as you can see, um, on the right hand side, here is my um, the serve at uh, the NAS. Sorry, we're going to come out of that folder. So go to the top level, and then what we're going to do is we need to find etc. So we go in there, then we want to find a file called init.d. Uh, normally, configuration files are stored in uh, the actual folder, so you might be familiar with Linux already, and as there's the config file the problem with that if you change that on the startup which is in init.d it overwrites that configuration file so the settings we need to change are in a, a, a dot sh file we need to find smb.sh right click it edit that's now loaded up let's increase the font if i can no it doesn't let me increase the font does that let me up there no, that just a selects all. Um, I should be able to. Let's put it on 20 for you so you can see it better. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to find a line um, with config fail. Okay, so we're going to do a search. So I'm going to do control F. Obviously, if you're using a different, uh, like a Mac, it'll be something different so config fail and it's found it there what we need to do so we've got a configure uh, configure up here this is set in the config file and the brackets is all of the settings so we need to uh, add the setting um, under fi it's the last bit so within the brackets and all we're going to do is i'll include it in the description all we need is that line there okay so what we'll do is we'll save that and I'll minimize that now pull up the browser and I'll go and what you need to do is go over to your NAS and log in. And let's log in now. And all I'm going to do is tell it to re reboot. And so go to system. power management I'll assume it's in power management but it's actually not so let's go to maintenance and let's reset now we get to wait a while depending on the version of NAS you've got um, hopefully it's a better one than I've got and it's a lot faster booting up You could actually do it by the command prompt to reinitialize um, the config, but we'll just do it. We want to make sure that when we, if we have to turn it off, then it's going to load up and it's going to be working. So let's see if I can do a refresh on that. Nope. So it's definitely gone offline. Well, actually that won't work because we've already set um when you reset the um, the box it automatically disables the ssh 
so as you can see it's now back online let's do a refresh here and it's not fine to that typical way it's still booting up because you can see in the background it's still got the loader come on I'm just bored now that won't work and it won't okay oh it did work oh no it's because I clicked bought it's just got it in the cache okay so that's now online so let's see if, uh, just refresh it once more and then hopefully we can access the SMB so I'm going to type in the IP address which is so you do a backslash backslash 192.168.1205 and there we go that is SMB now working guys and that is it and that will work every time obviously if you do a firmware update it might uh, delete the configuration file but fingers crossed on the next uh, update Buffalo do they include an update for SMB version 2 because frankly it, they should have released it um, an update for these people who can't access their um, NAS drives anyway guys as usual if you like this video please subscribe and give it a thumbs up hope you enjoyed it speak to you soon bye bye